Greetings, 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 greetings. Greetings and great rising, greetings and great rising. Oh, good evening, good evening, good evening. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Wherever you are in your day, welcome, 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 welcome. Ashe, if you're new here, my name is Robin, creatrix of Amethyst and Clover. Coming to you to do a reading for the water signs, Ashe. To my warriors, what's up? How y'all doing? Y'all know how we do. Happy Monday. Happy Moon Day. Happy Day of Papa Legba. Happy Day of Nanabolo Klo. Ashe, or any other Lawa Orisha deity that you rock with, Ashe. Ashe. This is a general reading. If it rocks, it rocks. You want to take a look into your natal chart to see where these energies of Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, rock with you. Ashe, Ashe, if you're a cross watcher, welcome. Get comfy, everybody. Get comfy. Grab your pen, your paper, your pencil. Ashe, <laughs> have it is that you rock. Ashe, you definitely want to get comfortable. Take these notes, take the messages, get the inspiration, the motivation, the encouragement, the words, baby, that is meant for you. Ashe, Ashe, if there are any ancestors, spirit animals, guardian angels, loas, orishas, deities that you want to rock with tonight and you want them to be present and rocking with with you, now is that time. Ashe, Ashe, we want to take what we need and leave the rest peacefully and respectfully. Ayi bobo, Ashe yo. This message will come through in truth. Peace, dopeness, and righteousness. We are safe. We are divinely guided. Love, cloak, rooted, suited, booted, guarded, protected. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. As above, so below. As within, so without. So more to be times three. Ashe, Ashe, Aye, Bobo. Ashe yo. Let's get into it, warriors. What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? Right off rip. Water signs. Listen. Oh, water signs. Listen. Right off rip. We got the wheel of fortune. Come through, Anansi. Come through, Aunt Nancy. Ashe. Ashe. Shout out to my sisters in Ghana. Ayi Bobo. My brothers in Ghana. Ayi Bobo. Ashe yo. Yes. Seven of Swords. Mmm. We got tricks the pun, tricks the pun, tricks the baby. Listen. We're gonna take it, we're gonna rock with it that way. Ashe, it came in on a half. We're gonna always take the positive of it all. Ashe, because we definitely gonna dig into it with these dead going tricks the energies. What's happening in these streets? Ashe. Hmm. Knight of Swords. Ayi Bobo. This is definitely, huh? How do you want to rock? Destiny, fate, trickster energy, storytellers, weaving, spider energy, patience here. Coyote energy, trickster energy. This could be definitely Papa Legba, Elegua, Isu, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Depending on the folklore, the legends, and the Patakis, how it is that you rock. Ayi Bobo. Ace of Cups. So something new has either already come in or it's on its way. But it, for most, it's definitely going to be some type of delay. Are you not receiving? Are you not believing that this is real? Are you allowing your, your mind to tell you that the goodness and the beauty that has already come in? Or that it's on its way? Or you just get the sense and the feeling of it all? Water signs? Yes, water, energy, currency, vibration. Ashe, this is you. That's you. Ashe, that's definitely you. Come on through. What is the stall out? 
What's the stall out? You know? Shit is coming in or shit has come in. Do you feel as though it's too good to be true? This is legit, water signs. My Scorpios, my Cancers. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. You got the chariot in reverse. That's what I'm saying. What's the, what's the stall out? And this is cancer energy right here. Chariot energy. That's more water energy. Definitely. There's a balance taking place here. Either you're being encouraged to take a pause, to not make any moves right now, or your mind is playing tricks on you. There's definitely, you got 10, 8, you got 18, you got 9. That might be a 69 and you got cancer. And I'm only saying 69 because this is in reverse. Hmm. Cancer energy. How will this affect your family? Is that what you're thinking about? Don't forget to consider you too because this is ultimately and directly involving you. So don't get caught up in the feelings of what others may be saying in regards to how you should be moving. And then your mind is coming through playing tricks. But this is destiny here. Something is, this is supposed to happen. This is definitely happening. This could be destiny, fate, however it is you want to call it. But you want to remember the hard work that you put in. The patience, the dedication, or the lack thereof, Ashe. Because in my world, when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune, it doesn't matter in which way it spins. Balance will be had. Ayibobo, Ashe yo. So we'll take this as high vibration. That you may have been in the slump. You may not have felt like, you know, there was any moves to be made. And you honestly could have been. And you may have to, you know, really be on guard and protect the hard work that you've already put in. But when we start to close out cycles, see, 10, when we start to close out cycles, we start to get nervous and we start to play in our own head and our feelings and our emotions, they just start running amok. Definitely a shadow. There's definitely some shadow work that needs to be done here. Because you really want to make sure that you're embracing this newness. Let that cycle end. Whatever it was, let it end. What's going to be is going to be. And not everything is always on a negative end. When y'all hear me say, you know, let it in. I'm not talking about, oh, oh my God, let it go. No, I'm, what I'm saying is, it is what it is. The cycle ends. Whether it's high vibration or low vibration. This is the wheel of life. Yes, this is all about good luck and prosperity and good fortune. Jupiter is probably all over this. But this is a cycle completed. Masculine and feminine energy. Something came together here. And is giving you what you put out. Could that be why, you know, some of us are so hypersensitive right now. Water signs. So hypersensitive right now. That your people's words are really, and oh, baby, trust me, love. Oh, I get it. I truly do. Today, baby, today. Listen, this full moon energy is still in effect, baby. And it is definitely having an effect on people. That moon energy is connected to the water. Period. 
I know in the zodiac world, the chariot represents uh, cancer. But even here, as you can see, you still going to get that water, baby. Still going to get that water. And this is big fish coming in. Big fish. I know that this is like the chariot and that's the, you know, the transportation. <laughs> I know that's the transportation. But nonetheless, when you see big fish, you see big fish, abundance, fertility, you know. That's what I'm saying. Like the family life. What's happening here? Something was out of order or something is out of order that's causing you to pause. And it could be either divinely guided. That's where my money is. Being divinely guided. Because you got to come to terms with this ending. You got to come to terms with this destiny. You got to come to terms with this fate. It's happening. No matter what you do, it's happening. Trickster energy isn't just bad energy. It's not just, you know, trying to trip you up. And Anansi, Aunt Nancy is a storyteller, baby. So it's definitely messages coming through. Regardless of how they come through, they still coming through. This could be a new love, new relationships. And you definitely want to proceed with caution. Definitely want to proceed with caution. Maybe you're just being, like I said, if you're being encouraged by the divine, you know, to, to not make any moves. Sometimes we do need to pause for the cause, baby. Sometimes we do need to pause for the cause. But if you are stalling yourself out, you may still be here. And that low energy is running amok because it's trying to make sure that you do not fully accept what's coming. What's being up, see, promises, new moon energy. It doesn't want you to get what you want. That's high vibration energy. Your shadow, your ego, your lower self, your low vibration, it want what it wants. So it's coming out with a promise. You know, take this up. Take this time of reflection, of healing, of learning. The moon was so big and so bright, whether you saw it or not, it was out there exposing all. During this time of when you're being encouraged or whether you've decided not to make a move just yet. Deal with a shadow or two that's coming up. That newness you want. It's, baby, it's so close. New moon, it's so close. This current moon phase, we're headed back into the dark moon, new moon energy. We're going in the right direction. The signs, the synchronicities, you definitely want to pay attention to it. Okay. And it says the weeping tree. The weeping tree. Release, rejuvenation, and restoration. Come through, Ayi Bobo. Now is the time to let go of that which does not serve you anymore. Free the pent-up energy within you. Breathe deeply and let your body relax fully, merging with the space and time. Let it all die so you may blossom, so that you may blossom once more. Yeah, you definitely want to work it out. Like I said, I'm going to always rock with the divine. I'm going to always take energy, especially now if things are happening, stall out, confusion, you know, towers, how it is that you, you view it, you see it, you rock with it. Hardships, hurt, headache, pain, loss, confusion, whatever, love bombing, whatever it is. 
Newness is coming. And you don't want to stall yourself out. You want to carpe diem. You want to seize the moment. You want to work this out. And you want to make a promise to yourself. That you're willing to start anew. Because it's happening regardless water signs. And I know Scorpios, y'all don't like change. Something's changing. And they're in that deep, deep water, Scorpios. They're in that deep, deep water. So you already know what time it is. And you over here calculating your moves. Keeping some shit in the cut. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm prey. You think I'm just a coyote, but baby, listen. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to let my monster out. You don't want to do that. <laughs> go on. Go on. Ashe. Ashe. And then you have cancer energy here. Sparking it all off. You need to change your perspective. Your view on things. Family is important to all of us. But when it comes to the cancer energy, it's a little something, something different about that. But you're being divinely guided right now. And you definitely want to make sure that you understand that you ultimately are in control. Or you're being given the reins. And maybe you feel as though you're not ready. Maybe you feel as though that, you know, oh my gosh, how is this going to affect everybody? How does this work for everybody? How do I even feel about it? You may just be going through the motions, riding the waves. You need to catch one of these waves. You want to catch on it. Definitely. Definitely want to catch it. There's something beautiful that's either already on the scene or it's coming. You just have to be a little bit more patient. This is a five year. Venus, Ashe, just went into retrograde. Ayi Bobo. So there could be some old shit coming up. Them shadows. Giving you that time and that energy to get with it. To get with it. Some of us are having a rebirth. Mm, and I was talking about fertility. Talking about, you know, abundance. Transformation. This is definitely a change. Or something, you know, in you. Has changed. You may have to fight for what you want. You may really have to go after it. Hmm. But before you do. Yeah they definitely. They, it's like definitely telling come through. They're definitely telling a story. Definitely. You put in so much time and so much work and so much effort. You made promises to yourself. And I know for damn sure. Water signs don't like breaking promises to themselves and really nobody else. If they're vibrating high. I say. Because <laughs> if y'all vibrating low, it ain't just Scorpios y'all got to worry about booze. It ain't just Scorpio's lawyers, them Cancers, and them Pisces. See? Two fish here. I'm going to definitely rock with Pisces on that. Ashe. Ashe. Get some rest. It said rest right here. So Divine is telling you. Maybe you've been putting in a lot of work. Or maybe you've been making a lot of moves. 
Because this is beautiful energy. Maybe y'all was tying shit up. Wrapping some shit up. Y'all, the energy that I'm getting is that y'all have worked. Y'all have been on your path and you've been doing the damn thing. Y'all have been on your path and you've been doing the damn thing. You've been putting in that work. Being tenacious. Resilient. All them REs come on through. It said relax, rejuvenate, and restore. And Venus is in retrograde. All them REs. Yeah. You did your part. And the abundance is coming in. Don't forget your hard work. If you're going to send cold for some shit, remember all the blood, the sweat, the tears, how intricate, how you had to bob and weave, how you had to ebb and flow. You had to know which way to go. And the energy is coming through that a lot of y'all have. But there's some that is shook. <laughs> I don't mean to put it to you that way, but that's just how it comes through. Some of y'all are shook. You know you zigged when you should have zagged. You know you bobbed when you should have weaved. You know it. You know it. Hard lessons are going to be learned. Let this be a message and, and a heads up coming through for everybody. All the water signs, all of you. You definitely want to deal with some shadows or you definitely want to know that your shadow, some, some negative energy, some low vibration, more so within you, especially in the mind area, playing tricks. You definitely want to make sure that you deal with that. Things are coming up for a reason. Chapters are ending. Newness. You got new moon right here. This is all about a new cycle. You got ace of cups. This is all about newness on a high end. You got wheel of fortune. That's a balance. So some of some of you could have honestly been on the low, feeling down and out, feeling despair, you know, just making ends meet by robbing Peter to pay Paul. It could have been a lot. That shit's about to turn, boo. That shit's about to turn. That shit about to turn, warriors. You just got to hold on. You just got to hold on. Oh, and, okay. They just flying, baby. They just flying. Let's see what's, let's see what's flying. Oh, we got temperance and fourth house. Yeah, so this is definitely about your sacred space, your home. And I don't just mean your physical home, but this is definitely about you, your body. Did some of you make some promises in regards to making change within? Have you made those changes? And this is coming out to be a six. Nurturing. This is definitely, in my world, water energy. And there's another new moon, crescent moon. You want to pay attention to the, the synchronicities, the patterns, the order of things. Things are going in a certain order for you, water signs. Oh, and look at that. Definitely confirmation with temperance telling you that it's going to have some balance, have some patience, have some faith. But you definitely want to ground yourself. This is definitely about the as above and the so below. And it's coming in the in the world of the wheel of fortune. In the world of the wheel of fortune. Yeah, but this is the realm. Because this is destiny. This is happening. This is a guarantee. Whatever you threw is coming back to the this is happening. And no matter which way it flops or flip, it's definitely going to be a game changer. You got too much newness coming out. For it not to be. Even with this cycle. Like paying attention to the cycles. Yes. The moon is out. Yes there's a lot of tricky energy. There's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of feelings. But there's also a lot of psychicness. There's also a lot of, of, of being very intuitive. Yes. 
That full moon energy was in Gemini. So your, your thoughts and your feelings, you could honestly be feeling like you're 10 people right now. I mean, she got so many arms. <laughs> you might, like I said, you've been doing so many things. You've been like wrapping shit up. You've been doing the damn thing. You've been like tying up the ends. But I'm a shadow worker, root worker. You understand what I'm saying? I like to get to the bottom of things. Everything ain't always vibrating high. So if you flip that, some of you been may, you know, may have been having your hands in way too many pots. And some of them pots definitely did not belong to you. And like I said, zig when you should have zagged. Maybe you're supposed to be in full meditation mode. You just had to put your little toe in there. And this is still coming through water energy. But that's how Gemini rocks. Multi, multifaceted, multi, multi, multi. They can handle a lot of things. Now was the time to rest, restore, regroup, regenerate, have that rebirth. Allow this newness to come in. If you made promises to yourself, just get back on track. Forgive yourself. Nurture yourself. Love yourself. Be kind to yourself. Tap into your intuition. Maybe that's the shadow. Maybe you said, you know what? Tomorrow I'm going to create my altar. And tomorrow turned into a month, and a month turned into six months, and six months turned into, we're at the end cycle of everything. No matter how you look at this. And now you feel as though, you know, you're upset, you're disappointed in yourself. You see that, you know, you've been playing mind games, or maybe someone has been playing mind games with you. Maybe their words weren't true. Love bomb is a real thing, ladies and gentlemen. Ashe. And everybody get that message. Whether you are close as a couple. Or not. Don't show all your cards. Don't show them all. Because there's still some information, apparently, that you're not privy to. But you definitely want to harness the energy that is being bestowed before you. The, the energy that you've already been given. You definitely want to rock with that. There's a lot of stability here. You definitely want to make sure that you're taking in the information or the love, the new thought, the new idea. You definitely want to make sure that you're keeping your thoughts, your feelings, your ideas clear. Feel the dreams came through and peaks of joy. There's a lot of abundance that's coming. 33. Look at that. Divine message all day. You have a right to be joyful. Word. <laughs> you have a right to be joyful. You have a right to be happy. Good things are coming through. 21, that comes out to be a 3. Take a look into 33. Take a look into 3. Take a look into 333. Three, three. It's coming through abundantly. You also have a lot of seeds in your, you know, in your possession. And there are others. You have a good support system. You have people that are rocking with you. You have people that are loyal, that are, you know, definitely not there to just use you. There's a lot of good energy on this table. 
I don't know why I'm getting the energy of Kenny Rogers and shit. <laughs> you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, baby. This is coming down in regards to, you know, knowing when to move and how to move. Really trusting yourself. Your rebirth is definitely going to be a part of your dreams. Like I said, this is definitely in regards to you, your spirit, your purpose, your goal, your mission. No matter how small or big. One more mental four, four, four. Ashe, create that altar. If you've been slacking, just understand that change is still going to be for the greatest and your highest good. Some of us don't want to get spanked by the universe. Some of us don't want to get spanked by our ancestors, our spirit guides, our laws. We think we're still going to hide. No, ma'am. No, sir. That's not happening. Because you still got dreams. You too, Muzzle. Go ahead and do that rest, re restoration, regeneration, restore, restock, replenish, re-advise, reassess, revamp. What's done is done. And even with that, you too still have peaks of joy. It wasn't all bad. Mm -hmm. For those of us that have been vibing on a low energy vibration, it, it was good while it lasted, right? Like, you enjoyed the moment. You still got some beauty in it. It all depends on how you see shit. You too are having a transformation. It could definitely be time for you too. To change how you see things, change how you view things, change your perspective, change your ways. People believe in change all the time. Then we have overflow. And this is says this says overwhelm and plenty. And this is 43. This comes out to be a seven. And then we have fallen angel, spiritual narcolepsy. Hmm. And that's a 19. So that's a 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spiritual narcolepsy. Like I said, some of us, we kind of like fell off of our spiritual path. We was in it, but then it's like, we was in it to win it, then we lost interest, then we was in it to win it, then we lost interest. Like, it, it was just so sporadic and so random that you didn't even understand it. That could definitely have been a shadow. That could definitely have been your inner lower vibration. Your mind playing tricks on you, getting you distracted. Look over there. Oh, it could have been the people that were around you. You too definitely want to take a look and see what's causing the stall out. What's causing you from taking the highs with the lows? What's causing you not to ebb and flow? Your water. That's your wheelhouse. That's what you do. You're a part of that ancient ancestor elder beginning no end really no beginning no end a part of the heavens and the underworld what why are you having such a hard time with your connections especially when it comes to your religion your faith your spirituality how it is that you rock what's changed what causes you to 
be real sporadic? What causes you not to be committed? What's the fear here? What's the fear? Because divine synchronicities and order is telling you that there's definitely an overflow. That means that abundance is coming through. And it's going to be so much of it. Look at this. It's so much of it. The house is full. The castle is full. The temple is full. It's an overflow. It's enough for you, your family, and others. You definitely want to share. When you get goodwill or you get a good fortune, you have good luck, share. You throw that energy back out. And that's what comes to thee. For those that may have been vibrating low, let that be the message of the day. This is how you're going to get that change. Whatever destiny is coming. If you've been vibrating low, just know it's all about the, the synchronicities, the patterns, the frequencies, the energies, the vibration. This is your wheelhouse. Water signs is not just about love. I know love is a really big part with water energy. I get it. I get it. But it also plays a part in regards to vibration and energy in every aspect. Not just that one. Every aspect. Especially spiritually. We definitely need water to survive. I know you got people that say we don't, but... They get in the water somehow. I'm just saying. The body is very smart. It's very smart. Hmm. Now we back to the body and then the home life. Yeah, it's very smart. Some of you may be having a disconnect with water itself. And your water energy. Definitely make a commitment. Oh, we got adaptability. And invocation. Ceremony, woods, ashe, ashe. I don't know how some of these cards came back to me, <laughs> but we're going to rock abundantly. Ashe, ashe, ayi bobo, ayi bobo. <laughs> but yeah, we have adaptability and we have invocation. So you definitely have some adjustments that need to be made in order for you to receive. And there's that 10 again. Yeah. Let this cycle end. Regardless of, of where you were, where you are, where you've been. Let this cycle end. You have way too much creativity. You have way too much power. You have way too much knowledge. You have way too much energy and resources and vibrations. And oh my gosh. Don't get caught up on the small things. Don't worry about what others are doing. You have a field of dreams. A whole possibilities. Huh? Huh? You got a little bunny rabbit over top of the field of dreams. Come on now. We're talking about rebirth and spring. They telling you by spring. Hell, this could be by Easter. If that's how you rock. Or spring energy. It's going to spring, baby. Spring is going to spring. <laughs> spring going to spring. Yes. Stay focused on what you got going on. Don't worry about what nobody else got going on. Get your rest. Get your plan. Get it together. Have some patience. Have some faith. That you did your best if you vibe in high. And if you did not... You still can make that move. You just have to make the proper adjustments. Adaptability. That's chameleon energy. Ashe. Ashe. And then that 10 could be rocking with the wheel of fortune. That 10, 10. The universe wants what you want. The universe is still working in your favor. Regardless on what side of the pendulum you swing. 
I say I ye bobo pops. Thank you, sir. Yes. Like I said, maybe some of us need to, you know, really create that altar. Because it's time to make a dedication to yourself. Whatever it is that you want with this potent energy that we have out right now. Now is that time to throw it out there. Then was that time. Dance. Magic, movement, and energy. Your body is wondrous. Your body is a wondrous thing. Filled with love and light just for you. Allow yourself to move in tune with your body today without judgment. Let your consciousness fully embody your being and feel the goodness that you hold. Listen, and that's with the chariot. It's time to move. Maybe not to make the move in regards to the goals, the dreams, and, and the aspirations, but making a move to get yourself back on track. I don't know why I'm seeing Kundalini energy out here, but maybe it's because they're talking about all this movement. So while you're being encouraged or instructed or supported in regards to not making a move, or maybe if you even if you feel as though that you was like, I'm just not going to make a move. You was being passive aggressive or just totally passive about the decision that you were not making because to make no decision is making a decision. You are being encouraged to, if you're going to do absolutely nothing, as you're getting your rest and your recharging and, you know, your restoration, do some reflection. You ain't got to bust a move for that. But if you've been having issues about your weight, maybe some of us emotionally eat. It's time to get moving spiritually. Some of us, you know, we've been doing, we've been already just not making a move. And you're being encouraged that, yeah, you definitely want to make some moves. You definitely want to make sure that you are in alignment. It's time to get reconnected. There's a big disconnect here. Mr. Telephone Man, is something wrong with my line when I dial my baby's number? <laughs> I get a click every time. Listen. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> And look at that support group. Like I said, you got people rocking with you. But you definitely need to commit. And if you have been rocking, if you have done everything that you were supposed to do in the midst of your rest, give yourself a celebratory ceremony. Because if it hasn't already happened, and I'm sure that it happened for a lot of us, we need to start testifying. We need to start sharing that goodness. Keeping others motivated and encouraged. You don't got to share your riches and your, your harvest. Sometimes they're just sharing good news. Sharing how your ceremony that you, you know, you worked for yourself. You, you said the words. Look at that. Knight of Swords. Maybe things slow down enough for you to say the words. Ashe. Ashe. Sad in return. Age. Yeah, that's grandfather energy right there. And there's that five. So this is feminine energy definitely coming through. Even though this is a masculine sign, but we did have the full moon and the sun on polar opposite ends, baby. Oppositions. Some of us are, are, are allowing our feelings to get the better of us. And you definitely don't want to do that. Because it's such a potent, powerful, magical time right now that without even making a, a ceremony or, you know, creating your altar, if you think in the words, if you think in the thought, baby, you still throwing it out there. Make the proper adjustments. Even with this newness, all this newness that's coming through. You're going to have to make the proper adjustments. Yeah, you're going, it's like starting all over again. It was like, you worked so hard. You worked so hard just to get here. But it's not over. 
You still got so much more coming in. You got so much more that you still need to plant. And it's okay to be happy. It's okay to be joyous. Share that good shit. Joy is infectious, they say. Share it. And three and three is six. And again, three times three is nine. That's 69. Hey, some of us that need to be bodies in motion. Bodies in motion. Sex manager definitely on the scene, baby. Definitely on the scene. And then we have, <laughs> I don't even like that follow-up. <laughs> but I'm a rock. Oh, my gosh. And then we have dry desert. <laughs> I'm talking about sex. Bodies rocking. And then it's like dry desert. So some, some definitely are not getting any. <laughs> Let's just put that out there. You want to change that. You want to fix that. Share your water. <laughs> Shit. So I'm going to spit. I ye boo boo. I share your is that rebirth so yeah things can seem a little dry for you right now it can seem a little boring it can seem like everybody else got their life popping and shit and you just dry <laughs> it's because you're in the cocoon baby you're in the cocoon you definitely want to have to trust and have some faith Hmm, and get that water in it says cactus. I see these two cactuses or cacti. I know they be changing the eyes for sisters now and all the rest of this mess. But back in the day, cacti. <laughs> yes, they store up water. That's why they don't require a lot of it. They store it up. So you definitely, like I said, you definitely want to develop a better relationship with water. That could play a lot of, of, of roles in your body life your spiritual life even in your home life ashe having some patience bound and ground bound yourself to yourself to your 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 path your faith your soul purpose your life mission whatever it is you want to call it your goals your dreams but even when it's boring and it's dry and it just seems like how much further am i going to have to go said it's not over you still should be able to see the beauty in this look at the sky look at that again there's a disconnect with nature you need to get out in nature you need to allow yourself to feel free you don't feel so free you don't feel so powerful you don't feel so motivated do you feel trapped like you're in a container? There's a lot of knowledge coming your way. There's a reason that there's a stall out. There's definitely a stall out. There's is either happening or it's on the way. But there's a reason for that. There's so much knowledge and so much wisdom that you still need to gain. Or you've, you've acquired everything and it just needs time to absorb within you and, and process. Hmm. The truth is, is definitely about to come out. With some promises, if someone didn't keep their promise, it's about to come out. You're about to see. You ain't really got to, you know, maybe this is why you've been installed out. You ain't got to make a move. Like, let this... Whatever, is, whatever needs to happen, it's going to happen. I know I keep stressing that, and that's because that's just what it is. That's just where it is. It's definitely it's happening. It's happening. You can really lean on um, the earth energy. This is probably why they're telling you to go out in nature. Seeing where things, you know, are like... Super dry. Getting your messages in regards to how far you have to go. Because some of the, some people are asking, how much farther am I going to have to go? Ask. <laughs> Air sign. And that's 39. That is another three. Listen, that comes out to be a 12. That comes out to be a three. Ashe. Ashe. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Gemini, full moon. Communication. Have a conversation with nature. Go outside in nature and give gratitude for the goodness that has or that have or had come into your life. It's not going to always be, you know, slippery when wet. It's not going to always be about water. You're not going to always be able to rely solely on your emotions. Or if you have, then you definitely want to balance yourself in those emotions. You definitely want to think things through. You definitely want to understand that that newness that is coming through is definitely coming through in a manner in which that you may feel as though that you, that's too much. You just sit up and told me that it's all about the water. I need to have better communication with water. And here I am out in the desert. Well, you like it dry. <laughs> you like it dry. Where we going next? Oh, you're already up. Ashe. Nature. And there it is. Been talking about the nature. And this was just sitting in the cut, just face up, just waiting. Just patiently waiting. Let that be a message. Just patiently wait. And while you wait... In regards to, you know, this change that is happening or is going to happen. Make sure that you keep your connection with nature. Make sure you remember to see the beauty in everything. Make sure you remember that you are not doing this alone. You have a beautiful support system and it's definitely coming through on the spiritual end. And this is probably why you feel so bad that you have yet to set up your altar or you have yet to do whatever it is spiritually, religiously that you said that you were going to do. The promises that you said that you were going to make. You definitely want to make those. Saturn is coming through to say, you said you had a whole plan. You had you was, you was going to stick to the rules this time. Stick to them. Forgive yourself. Nurture yourself. Learn from yourself. Get your rest. Come up with a game plan. Pay attention to your dreams. Understand that a lot of y'all are being encouraged and being called in regards to your psychic abilities, in regards to your talents and gifts that you keep having spiritual narcolepsy about. <laughs> that is wild. I you vote vote. That's a hell of a way of putting that. <laughs> Fallen angels, some of y'all feel as though that, you know, because you fell off, you didn't keep your promise. That you're never going to get your house in order. So every time you try, you do it half-heartedly. And it's all this green. And you know water, emotions, love. Y'all want to talk about love, but there it is. It's the love for yourself. You feel like you've disgraced something or someone or someone is a disgrace. Whatever it is, it doesn't mean you're not supposed to put forth your best effort. That's that's not what that means. Don't get so fixed up or so fixated on the revenge, the the trying to catch a person. You understand what I'm saying? Don't 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 do that. Don't do that. Not doing this time. This is way too potent and powerful and magical of a time. I say. Then you have oh, listen. Listen. You have another 33 out here. Mermaid, mother, and child. Yeah. This is definitely Mama Wata energy. This is definitely La Sarin energy. This is definitely Yimmy Ya energy. Ashe, Ashe. And what did I say? All these fish that are out here. Hmm. So this balance that is needed. My eyes are green. <laughs> because I eat a lot of vegetables. Y'all know I can't sing. <laughs> it don't have nothing to do with your new friend <laughs> come to your <act> my dude. <laughs> like i said some people's legit moved on that cycle is over some of you jealous you ain't jealous <laughs> some of you eat your vegetables you got a good relationship you know with nature with water 
you understand how and when to play the game. You know when to move, when not to move, how to move. Like I said, some of y'all are doing the damn thing. Are doing it. And the abundance, the overflow. And let that be another 33 coming through with the messages. Oh, I definitely set that on top. Because that's what's coming through. Like I said, it's going to take care of you and the rest of your family. And others. That overflow. This is divine order right here. This is perfection right here. Just don't forget to share. Pay it forward. In some capacity. And then we have transits. Climate. Feel that energy. Feel that vibration. And holding on to the blue disc. The blue orb. That could be water energy. That could be air energy. Huh? Baby, listen. <laughs> and then you have the chameleon. We sit up here talking about adaptability. We're talking about adapting right here. If that is another 30, I am done. I'm done. I'm done. Divine keeps coming through. 33. 33. 33. I'm going to put you up here with the 33s. So let the divine message be change, chameleon, peaks of joy, and mother and child. If you allow, because, I mean, it's happening, but whether if the, when I say allow, what I'm saying is if, if you embrace it, if you embrace this change, regardless of how it's coming, regardless of what type of change it is, if you embrace it, you'll learn how to be adaptable. You'll, you'll learn because you'll prove it to yourself with this change. Then you'll see the joy come through. And not only will it reap and, and benefit your children, but they'll also learn how to do it. Teach the young ones. It's all about the young ones. Your young are watching. And like I said, water energy is very nurturing, very, whether it's masculine or feminine, ashe, ayi, bobo, however it is that you rock, it's very nurturing, loving, protective of it. All these wishes out here. All this magical energy that's out here. The divine has come through. Tread times with 33. <laughs> Listen, that's a, this is your sole purpose, your sole mission, your power, your willpower. Definitely get your rest. That's not energy does stand for rest, recharge. Ashe. Ashe. Some, and people are watching, like I said, my eyes are green because I eat a lot of vegetables. Some people are definitely watching how you move and they do not like it. But that's not even going to be able to stop your flow. Ashe, aye, bo, bo. This is a beautiful thing. Just make sure that you're reconnecting with source. By doing so, it changes everything for you, water signs. If you just learn to adjust, you're part of the ebb and flow. It doesn't have to be such a struggle. You have a direct connect to the energies and vibrations of this realm. Of this earth, Gaia, whatever it is you want to call it, this rock. You have the direct connect through your element of water. You have that. The same way all the other zodiacs have their energies. You have that. And the divine has come out for you. Source has come out for you. Jesus, God, the Buddha, Muhammad, Allah, how it is you rock has come out for you. Telling you, yeah. You can believe this. You can rock with this. This is your hard work. 
or yeah, you can believe this. You ain't got to rock with this because this is your lack of work. But nonetheless, if you make their proper adjustments, if you just align yourself to the things that you promised yourself that you were going to do, you wouldn't feel so fucked up. When we're on a, a, a the as far as the calendar year goes, these are the last days of all the last of all the last of 2021. You two are having a rebirth. You just had some some challenges along the way. Just learn from them. Take what you need and leave the rest. There's no point in stalling yourself out. Because it's going to get to a point where you're going to need to turn these things around. Because you too still have seeds that needs to be planted. For every day that we rise, what the elders say, above ground is better than below ground any day. That's what they say. Yeah. You have the opportunity. It's a new day. Rebirth every day. New moon, new energy every day. New moon energy every day. If you rock in that way, Ashe. But you definitely want to make sure. One thing's for sure and two things for certain. I am a shadow root worker. You definitely want to deal with the shadows that are coming up. Because a lot of you were in your own way in regards to reaping this beautiful harvest and, and next phase and, and next thing of life. And you're going to have to tighten it up and get yourself on board and get yourself together and put your big girl and big boy drawers on, strap up by the bootstraps. You know what I'm saying? Like you definitely going to have to make some changes. And one of them is going to be accepting the, the big change that's on the way. Oh, that's here. And again, that's on the positive and the low end. Life is nothing but cycles and patterns, synchronicities and rituals, invocations. Say it to yourself. Just you. You don't need a whole tribe. You don't need to record it. You don't. Ugh, baby, let me stop there. I hope this was helpful. I'm sure that it was. Ashe, please leave a comment. Let me know how you feel, Ashe. As you can see, I'm trying to find my, my way around the video recording of it all ashe aye bobo yes shout out to my tg shout out to my sisters for those that have been rocking for those that always rock ashe we're all in this together we're all connected in some type way fashion or form but the message for you is to definitely share share your knowledge share your time share your advice your wisdom your inspiration you know that's a part of that overflow and again, if you feel as though that everybody is reaping their rewards and you're not, it's on the way. But something got to change first. Even if you've been riding on a high end and you've been feeling like, you know, it should have been here by now. There were some challenges along the way. This is a five year, but this is also the year of the ox. Let's not forget that. Let's not forget that. What's related to that bull, which was related to this damn dry desert here. Ashe. Let uh, Grandfather Saturn come through. He said a return, said a return in regards to age. Some of us are turning 50. How y'all feel about that? Ashe, this is about your feelings. You want to keep them clear. Communication, communicating. Like I said, they've been communicating with you. Go out in nature, commune with nature. Ashe, Ashe. The climate, the transits, they are changing. The climate are changing. The seasons are changing. Like, spring will be here before you know it. Don't think like, oh my God, I got it so far away. Regardless of where you are on a high end or on a low end. You know, some shit is definitely jumping off by spring. Feel the dreams. If you plant your seeds now, regardless of how you reaping, what you sowing, it's definitely, you know, good time. To plant again. Throw your seeds down. But this time make sure you nurture them. Make sure you protect them. Don't just wish for it. You actually got to put in the work. That's it. That's all. 
Ashe, Ashe, do your dance. Get together with your people, your ancestors, your guides. Let them know. Talk to them. Be honest. Be open. Be transparent. If you can't share your deepest, darkest feelings with yourself, then who can you share them with? Agi Bobo. Ashio. And that tricks the energy. If somebody was playing tricks on you, they definitely are going to pay for that. You got to stay focused on what you got going on. That, that's, that's your goal. That's your focus. The climate is hot right now. We're still in Sagittarius season, fire season. Just stay focused on what you got going on. For some that need to slow down and being told to pause, hey, you can rock or not. The choice is yours. But it's being encouraged. And for those that, you know, are feeling bad about their physical appearance, Maybe a dance class. Ashe, Ashe. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the energy that came through. That was vibing so high, so love, so dope, so peace, so righteous. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. The doors and the gates and the portals are now closed. The doors and the gates and the portals are now closed. The doors and the gates and the portals are now closed. I want to say thank you for rocking with the kid. Thank you for visiting my channel. Thank you for the support, my warriors. Thank you for the love. All 115 of you, 16 of you, I love you. It always toggles between 115 and 116. I love you, though. We're going to get this. We're going to get it. Ashe, I give you boo. Yes. You know, ill thought words, curses, sex, spells, negative energy, low vibration cross you. Your ori, that's your head space. Your auric, that's your body space. Or your aortic field. Ashe, Ashe. We want to take what we need and leave the rest. If anyone is trying to do any harm to us on any type of level, physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, energetically, spiritually, any of the least, come through my Uncle Lee. We want to send all bullshit back to sender nine by nine by nine. It was a lot of nines by way of threes on this table, baby. Hunt, that 725 come through my grandma, Ray. Ashe, Ashe. May our spirit leave our body peacefully as we get that rest, that sleep, that peace. May it go on its journey. And get all of the knowledge that is needed to encourage us to make sure that we keep our feelings, our thoughts, our emotions clear. We need to vibrate high. Always, Ashe, not discrediting or ignoring the low, but we need to make sure that we adjust and adapt to our surroundings by keeping the focus on what it is that we are working on, what we're bringing to the table. Ashe, make sure that you protect your seeds. Check on your seeds. Give them that love. You are a water sign. Share that love. You're a part of earth just as much as the earth signs. Ashe, Ashe. You're a part of air just as much as the air, um, air signs. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. And all of this is your spirit. So you already got that fire. And you are the water, baby. We're all connected. Share. As above, so below. As within, so without. So more to be times three. Ashe, Ashe, Ayi, Bo, Bo. Ashe, yo. And if you're not having the night that you want to have, if you're not having the day that you want to have, the afternoon that you want to have, if you're not living the life that you want to live, you change that shit, baby. Until next time, peace, 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 warriors. Be peace, be bold, be brave, but don't take no shit. I ye bobo.